Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trudy and if you're new, welcome. So you're probably wondering if I was recently arrested and detained, right? Mm. Well, the answer is no. However, in this video, I'm going to share with you five ways in which you can be arrested and detained here in China. All right, guys, so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, we know the drill. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this video, like, comment, and remember to turn the post notification bell on so whenever I upload a video, you can know. All right, guys, let's get into the video. I want you to also bear in mind that there are other reasons in which you can be arrested arrested here however I'm giving you five that is actually very high on the criminal list okay all right so let's go I want you to bear in mind that this list is in no particular order, no particular order of consequences or anything like that, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Number one on the list is online rumors. Yes, you can be jailed for online rumors. So you can be blacklisted or detained if you spread internet rumors, all right, in China, or if you violate any form of online regulations. Yes, there are online regulations here. So if you fabricate, publish, or spread any information that will violate the public's peace, the public's peace or business ethics or good faith meaning i mean we know that you know religion is not a thing here so if you spread any form of religious information like that like in jamaica um you'd have persons that will go on public transportation and preach so if you do anything like that in china like go in public spaces and try to convert people or try to you know um bring any form of religious knowledge to anyone you can be in jail for that right so anything that might affect the public's peace business ethics or good faith online you can be in jail for that if you have a business your license can be revoked and and you can be banned from using the internet so whatever social media account that you have everything like that can be removed and you're probably wondering what social media we're talking like chinese social media accounts on Weibo. so you're probably wondering how severe are the consequences how severe um is the punishment for online rumors all right so what are the fines these fines that are actually administered is according to the chinese law and it is it's, it, it's dependent on the influence that you had though because I didn't want to mislead you I wanted to be as accurate as possible so I'm gonna tell you let me just get my little book here so um, according to the Chinese law online rumor mongers whose posts are viewed more than 5,000 more viewed by more than 5,000 internet users or reposted more than 500 times can land themselves in jail. Which is quite easy if you think about the number of people that actually live here, right? This country has a population of about 1.3 billion people. So for, I mean, something that's very juicy, right? And really striking in a matter of minutes more than 5,000 5, persons can actually view this post. So the actual jail time is three to seven years. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of time, like, yeah. So three to seven years, removal from the internet, no internet access, no social media, nothing. Life is bland. Yeah. Number two on the list is the manufacturing and distribution of drugs, drug trafficking. In any country, this is actually a severe um, criminal offense, but in China, this criminal offense can result in capital punishment. Yes, you can get a death penalty from the distribution of drugs in China. If you want to kiss your life goodbye, Go and manufacture and distribute drugs here. Um, first of all, they don't really categorize the punishment that um, is given based on the type of drugs, no. 
crack, heroin, weed, everything is just grouped as drugs and you can be penalized. They have random drug testing. So you go in clubs, especially areas where many foreigners are reside, they will do random drug testing. If you test positive for substance abuse, then you will be fine. And they don't care if you took the drug here in China or you took it outside of China, because of course, you know, if you smoke weed or if you have edibles, it does stay in the blood for some period of time. So if they um, test you and you test positive, despite the fact that you did not have, you did not um, consume that substance here in China, you will be fine. And this can result in um, you being deported and also you being jailed. So number three on the list is prostitution, right? Prostitution is banned here in China, also pornographic. And here at night on the street, they would have some little cars, you know, at random places on the road, um, which indicates that, hey, we have women for prostitution here. There's some prostitutes here. If you contact this number here, I mean, it could be a setup and I would, I would advise anyone to try that because you don't know what you might run into. I mean, I mean, you shouldn't do prostitution, but you know, you got what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, prostitution is illegal here and also it's pornography. All porn sites are banned in China. Um, pornography, if you're caught with pornography, you can be jailed. Recently, a WeChat group owner was actually jailed for six months because of um, images or videos that were sent in the group that had some form of pornography to it. Um, so he wasn't the one that distributed it. However, he was jailed because he was the administrator of the group. And as such, they said that he should be held responsible for the activities that, that are actually conducted within the group. Yeah, I know, crazy. And I don't know if you guys watched my previous videos, if you haven't, I've spoken about WeChat and the platform that WeChat serves as in China. So WeChat is similar to um, WhatsApp, but it encompasses several programs in it. So it is basically one app with several apps within it that you can do multiple things. And actually this app is actually also governed um, by the laws of China. So it's not really private, if you know what I'm saying, even though it should be private. So number four on the list, we have working illegally in China. Now this, I would not joke with this one. I mean, I would not joke with any of them, but this one is actually very severe and China takes illegal um, working very seriously. So China, like, China doesn't play with this one. China is very strict about their visa laws. So if you want to work here in China, you need to ensure that you're working on the correct type of work permit because there are different categories based on um, your industry. So you need to ensure that you're working on the correct work permit because not only will you be fined if you're not working on the correct work permit but you might also be jailed and you know a lot of time employers will get you here and then you will not actually work on the correct work permit they will try to go around the system but if you are caught not only the employer that will be penalized but you will also be penalized as well also working illegally in china means also working part-time because your work permit is attached to your employer right so if you work on the side, you know, about the side hustle, you can be fine that you may face is also dependent on the discretion of the officer that detains you. This can be between 5,000 to 20,000 RMB, right? So after you're fine, in some cases, you also might be jailed up to 15 days, then deported to your country. And then guess what they're gonna do next? They're gonna blacklist you. So it means that you'll not be able to re-enter the Number country. five on the list is money laundering. I don't know how you could possibly launder money from here because uh, it's so hard to carry out certain monetary transaction here. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand 
how but i guess people find a way but chinese government is actually very strict on fraudulent transaction you could be jailed up to like seven years or more here for such con um, transactions so i don't know I, I, like for me doing monetary transaction here is such a hassle with legal money so i don't know how people you know find means and ways to launder money here like i don't get it but hey people find ways all right so yeah so that's pretty much it for this week's video guys so tell me what do you think what do you think about these crimes and the punishments that are associated with them personally i mean i wouldn't want to go to prison in china i mean i wouldn't want to go to prison or jail overall anywhere in the world but i wouldn't want to go to jail here so please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment below tell me what you think do you think any of these punishments are crazy um so you can also tell me about any other country that you think have you know some absurd um laws and regulations leave it in the comment below until next time thank you for watching goodbye